These are all very simple recycling steps. Arthur so, Huang then, likes okay, trash. And my jacket, uh, also my bag. These are all made from 100%. 100%, that's a key, recycled material. Okay. Give him discarded plastic materials, he will turn them into jackets, bowls, lamps, bricks, even entire buildings. You see the, the male and female, they lock. Yeah. Tireless, energetic, the architect and structural engineer from Taiwan spent hours in Singapore's hot weather sharing his green ideas, solutions he hoped would help cut down the waste crisis weighing on our planet. We just feel the urgency of what we do, what needs to be done. So now the urgency is to bring the machine and the technology straight to where the trash source is. A power generator. We met at Tomasic's Ecosperity Conference, where the self-proclaimed environmental evangelist explained how it all began. It started in 2004 when I was still teaching yeah. as a university professor. Mm -hmm. and then people got really kind of frustrated with me because I was this young professor with no actual work experience. Okay, so then we decided that how about this? We go prove it to people. How can green energy become in people's hands? How can recycled material and lower carbon lifestyle be part of people's lives? Right from the beginning, your goal was to simply accelerate a shift to a closed loop or yeah. circular economy. Were you totally convinced from the start that upcycling more than recycling was the way to go? Yes, yeah, started in Rome uh, when I was studying archaeology uh, and history in Roma. Um, because all the buildings there, the most beautiful building there, uh, the classic building are made from trash. Okay, so if you cut open the building, inside is all trash. So all this trash material is actually creating this beautiful masterpiece of architecture. Mm -hmm. And uh, my eureka moment is why can we do that today? Turning trash into something valuable that people would buy. Was it hard to change consumer mindsets at the beginning? Was that tough? And how do you get people to be open to the idea of buying a product made from recycled trash? It's really hard in the beginning. Uh, on the uh, pure uh, theoretical basis, yes, it makes sense. We have to do this, we have to do this, but you cannot convince people on ethical, uh, di like ethical dilemma, it really just doesn't work. So you have to trick their senses. They have to be willing to actually uh, engage with you and actually pay good money for a certain products. So it's about tricking their senses, okay? Their eyes from far away, the smell. Uh, if Just imagine the recycled product, if it doesn't smell good, uh, if it doesn't look good, it doesn't feel good, you won't actually even touch the product. That's not a product. Breaking the mold, MiniWiz spun out new inventions, such as a proprietary yarn from plastic bottles and rice husks used to furnish these Nike offices. A modular system that created this installation with Philip Morris, made from recycled cigarette filters and drink bottles. And these self-interlocking bricks that built this nine-story pavilion in Taipei called eco Art, recycled from 1.5 million plastic bottles. We're lucky that we got the museum projects and then that kind of put us on a different track mm. in a bigger scale. Mm. So getting into architecture, getting into building materials was your lucky break? It was a lucky break, but I think that also makes our business model completely different because it literally turned us into a project-based company. One of the latest projects, the Jackie Chan Creative and Cultural Park in Beijing. Huang showed me the building so blocks behind its construction. And for example, these walls are made from polystyrene. One of our uh, principles is that everything has to be no glue use, um, so everything is interlocking. Okay. Okay, so why is that important? It's when you interlock the material, you can actually reuse the material again. Okay. So this is a PC and this is a polystyrene. This is the least recycled material out there with the rice husk fiber. Yeah, we don't try to change, change the chemical components. It. Then it can become a circular. So then, look, I disassemble this wall after this tray show. This whole thing can be re-recycled mm. into its basic building components. Mm. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.